I'm just gonna get this crazy hair out of the way. All right, good morning guys. Today I'm gonna be doing a review on the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation. This is a foundation that I got maybe just like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I've been using it a lot and I really have been loving it. I know that kind of spoils the review and my thoughts on it, but I don't know, like that way I would know more about it rather than like a first impression or something like that. I do have a first impression on this foundation. I did a whole face of first impressions. I'll link it up here in case you're interested. But uh, yeah, so I've really tried this out and I'm gonna wear it today and review it and do check-ins and all that kind of stuff. This is designed for more oily skin, I believe. Um, and it says long wear, high coverage foundation. I am quickly gonna go on Sephora.com and read like what it's technically intended to do. Okay, so it says it is a full coverage and it says that it works for all skin types. It says sensitive skin, normal skin, dry skin, and combination skin and oily skin. It is a natural matte finish. Basically says it's a full coverage liquid foundation that perfects with a velvet matte lightweight second skin finish. So far after using it a couple weeks, I can already say that that sounds exactly like what I've experienced. Okay, I'm not gonna read all this. All right, so I am going to be using a primer today. I always use a primer. My skin type is pretty weird. I feel like I have pretty normal to combination skin. When I don't wear makeup, my skin is normal. Sometimes it can be dry, especially any blemishes, they're really dry around there. But if I wear makeup for the entire day, my skin will get oily and will look really wet. So this primer I recently found, it's from Smashbox. It's the Photo Finish Foundation Primer Light. This is seriously like magic in a bottle. I am going to use this on half of my face because I know how amazing this primer is. So on the other half of my face, I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer and smoothing because this isn't really for like helping your foundation to last. It's just gonna fill in the pores and smooth out any texture. That way we can kind of see like, you know, how it works with both. Um, and I am gonna be applying it with a beauty blender because I used to use this all the time. It's this uh, Sigma. F80 flat top kabuki. I used it the other day because I haven't used it in forever and it made me look really cakey. So I'm just gonna use a beauty blender today. Use whatever you want. There we go. Okay, so I'm first gonna go in and use the Smashbox primer using just a little bit and I'm gonna put that on this side of my face. Rub it in. I guess I should zoom in, right? Let me zoom in. Oh, it's so far, so far away. Okay, so I put the Smashbox on this side of my face. Now I'm going to do the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer, and I'm gonna do the same amount on the left side of my face. Put it mainly in here, forehead. This I feel like you need to use more product just because it doesn't, why am I doing this left-handed? This is really weird. <laughs> the reason why I'm not not using a primer is just because I always wear one and it wouldn't be realistic for me to do a review not using a primer just because I always wear one and that would be weird. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the foundation. I am in the shade number five. I do think that this oxidizes and gets a little bit lighter. <laughs> So I wish I went a little darker actually, and I'm pretty fair. So this does tend to work when I am more fair and it tends to work when I am more tan. I did get that like middle shade, but I would like this in a darker shade as well. I'm gonna start with, by putting one pump on the back of my hand like this. I'm gonna dot it on the face. And I believe I got the one with more neutral undertones because my skin is very neutral. I can get pink like in the cheek area or like some redness and stuff, but overall, like it kind of balances out with more yellow as well. So if I go too yellow with my foundations, I look weird. But if I go too pink, I also look weird. So I like to get the neutral ones. So I'm just pressing this into the skin. And that, I mean, I still have some product left over. You can see how well it blends out onto the skin. It's just like, whew. it is very full coverage. And 
I really like the smell. It smells very expensive. Oh, I didn't even say how much this is. This is a pricier foundation that is for sure. It is $64 hairs. So let's see, it tells me here, yeah. Shade five, light to medium skin with a neutral undertone. That's me. And now I didn't pick up any product. I'm just pushing this into the skin. I found that when you really take your time to push your products into the skin, they lay a lot nicer and you can add more products because then they're not just like sitting on top. So if you take your time and really press it in, I think you get like a really nice outcome. And then you gotta, you know, get under here. Just make sure you get that. Okay. So that is one side. I'm going to do the other side. So that was one full pump. I'm going to do another full pump for this side of the face. Okay, I'm lightly just going to bring this over my eyelids, whatever's left on my sponge. I have some areas where it didn't fully cover because I was breaking out. So I'm just going to take a, not even a half a pump, just like a little pen mark here. I'm going to take it on the tip of the beauty blender, just the tip. That way I can get that coverage on those areas. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then I will be back just to show you what it looks like with the rest of the products. I'm actually going to film a chit chat get ready with me right now. So if you want to see the products that I use in conjunction with this to kind of help form your opinion of the foundation, make sure to check out that video. I don't know what I'm going to post first. I think... I'll probably end up posting the get ready with me video first just so that you can quickly go and refer to that. But yeah, I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. 2,000 years later. So far, this is the makeup. It's actually been about 20 minutes since I had it on because I took a couple of pictures, let my dog out, ate something. Um, I'm going to zoom in so you can see exactly what it looks like um, and see it really up close. I feel like I just look really natural. Well, okay, I don't look natural, but the skin doesn't look like caked on in my opinion. I don't feel like I look like... I don't know. I just really like the texture. I really like the finish. It just gives a beautiful like satin velvety sort of look. I really like it. So I'm going to zoom you in. Okay, this is it up close. So you can see I did use a lot of cream products down in this area of my face. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's all there is to it. I use some powders, things like that, but that is what I would do anytime I do a full face of makeup anyways. Um, I don't go for any full coverage foundations like the Power Fabric unless I'm gonna be doing a full face of makeup. Yeah, this is what it looks like. I feel like it just looks really good. I don't feel like I've got a lot of makeup on, even though I did apply a lot of makeup today. I just really like it. You can let me know what you think. I'm gonna turn down the brightness actually really quick. Okay, I feel so weird. I'm like, literally could like lick the microphone right now. But you can see it better when I turn it down and get all up close and personal, so enjoy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat something <laughs> and then I also need to edit a video today a little bit after that I'll come back and check in and let you know what I'm thinking and show you close up what this looks like and everything so I'll see you very soon so it is now 3 51 I forgot to say what time it was when I was done with my makeup earlier I believe it was around noon yeah so I guess I've had this on for almost four hours now and it looks exactly like when I did it I will zoom you in in just a second so you can see or I could just do that now so you could see. But yeah, this is what that looks like. I've just been inside. I haven't been like running errands or anything. So it's not like I've been doing anything crazy. But as far as just lasting power for doing something simple, this is what it looks like. I do have to run now to get an emissions test. And then I have to run to Target. And then after that, I'll be back and show you it again. Okay, this is with the brightness turned down. I feel like when the brightness is a little bit like duller or like, just not as bright you can kind of see like more texture in my skin and that way you can really see like how this is sitting on my face and you can see especially like usually right in here if a foundation isn't going to work i will have some sort of like separation going on or like you can just kind of like see it kind of like moving on my skin and also right here so these are the areas where that will happen and i don't know if you can see it but it's not doing that so well, good. Can we talk about this lipstick too? That did not move. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that whole car thing, run to Target. 
I'll be back. I hope to do my last and final check-in around like 8-ish. I do go to bed really early. I go to bed at like 9.30, honestly, because I wake up at like 5.30, 6 o'clock every day. So I'm not gonna, this isn't gonna be like till midnight or anything. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. All right, so sorry if I'm squinting. I was just outside, it's dark out, and these lights are super, super bright. It's now 9 o'clock. I successfully passed my emissions test. Got a license plate sticker just on time. It was due today, so I'm in the clear. So it has been on for a long time. I can definitely see the difference between the Smashbox side and the um, Makeup Forever primer side, especially in like the cheek area. But overall, the foundation I think has lasted pretty well. It did not separate. It did not rub off. And I was kind of itching my nose today. All right. So I zoomed in pretty far so you can see the foundation. I feel like on the cheek area, I'm pretty dewy. This is the Makeup Forever side. And then this is the Smashbox side. I'm pretty like wet up here. I think right now it's just now starting to separate a little bit here on this little like cheek area but honestly it's not that awful um again i can see that the smashbox side is better so let me turn down the brightness so you can also get like a really good look at this so this is what it looks like with the brightness turned down um see if you can look in here and see what that looks like I, like really want you to look in here so you can see kind of like where it's starting like Kind of like where it's a little bit more pink is where it's really starting to separate. But I don't think it's like awful. I've had it where it's like even like my upper lip is really like wet looking. Overall, I really do like this foundation, especially with that Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Light. I didn't touch up at all throughout the day. Just so you guys know, I left this here. This is the Charlotte Tilbury powder. This actually stays in my purse. So on a normal day, I would have had this to touch up with, but I wanted to just see what it would be like if I didn't have that powder. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching it. Let me know your foundation recommendations down below in the comment section. I like sheer, medium, and full coverage foundation. So let me know your recommendations down below. If you've tried this out and you like it, please let me know too. I think that's fun. Um, and if you want to see more videos like this, let me know that too. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye. <claps> Clap. Test. Testing, testing, testing. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, I can't wait to take off my pants.